In this video, we are going to talk about 10 easy steps to improve work performance. Before we have a tendency to begin, why don't you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so that you never miss any of our videos. Top performing employees are often the ones who receive raises and job promotions. You can take certain actions to improve your work performance and help your supervisors think of you as one of their best staff members. What is work performance? Work performance refers to your history of responsibilities and ability to complete your job well. Employers can measure your performance based on a variety of factors including, whether you complete tasks on time and according to expected standards. Considerations for pay raises and promotions are often based on your performance metrics, so improving your productivity is an effective way to advance your career. No matter where you are in your career, you can set goals to improve your work performance. Doing so can help you to have more career options give you more job security and possibly lead to higher compensation. Improving your work performance can make you a more valuable employee and an asset to any company. It can also help you achieve a sense of satisfaction about the work that you do. Here are the top 10 easy steps to improve work performance. 10. Focus on one task at a time. There is a belief in some work cultures that the most productive people multitask and complete several things at once to get things done. The truth is that when you multitask, you keep redirecting your attention from one thing to the next. It isn't really possible to give your full attention to two things at once. Instead, it is better to give your full attention to one task before moving on to the next. You'll likely finish both tasks faster and with fewer errors than if you try to multitask. 9. Become more organized. It is easier to stay on top of your tasks and find the things you need to do your job when you're organized. This means setting up your desk, your inbox, your file storage, your computer's desktop and your smartphone in a way that is most productive for you. It is important to be able to quickly find a file or an app without wasting time searching around. Being organized takes time and persistence. If you dedicate time to organizing in your work life, you will cut down on the amount of time you take to find things when you need them. Reducing the number of possessions you keep can streamline this task. This includes creating guidelines for what emails to keep in your inbox. Strive only to keep emails that you still need to act on, and file or delete everything else. 8. Set stretch goals. A stretch goal is a goal that isn't the next logical step in the process. It is something you'll have to work toward, and challenges you to do something you may not otherwise be able to complete. In fitness, a stretch goal might be to lose 25 pounds, with regular, incremental goals of losing 5 pounds per month. At work, it could be as simple as committing to doing something that's outside of your normal job description, and comfort zone, such as planning a department party or giving a presentation to new hires. 7. Use an hourly planner. Sometimes to-do lists grow too long. If you use an hourly planner, you can assign each task an amount of time to complete and note when you are going to complete it. You can then see if you have more tasks to complete than time in a day, and arrange your schedule accordingly. This will limit delays in work, as you'll be able to give managers and clients more realistic deadlines from the beginning. 6. Schedule vacation days. It might seem counterintuitive, but vacations make you more productive. The mental break from work can give you more energy and focus for when you come back to work. This means that it is better for your company and work performance to take all of the vacation days you've earned. 5. Show up earlier. Consider developing the habit of arriving at work 15 to 20 minutes early. This extra time can help you avoid the stress of traffic, give you time for coffee and help you to relax and prepare for the day so you can work effectively. Also, supervisors are often impressed with employees who arrive ready to go. 4. Set productivity challenges. To foster more engagement and energy toward your work while improving your performance, set your own productivity challenges. Strive to do just a bit more than you already do, without compromising quality, during the same amount of time. For instance, if you typically write four blog assignments each day, see if you can write five or even six in the same amount of time. You might need to find more efficient ways to research, outline and write the assignments to get it done in a day. This little challenge can give you something to work toward and can make a difference boosting your morale. Plus, your employer will likely notice the slight increases in productivity. 3. Use online productivity tools. 
Online productivity tools can help you keep track of all your tasks and make progress toward bigger goals. Some software tools have free features that are easy to use on your own. You can organize and plan each of your goals in the system to see them visually. 2. Learn more about top performers. Consider the people in a similar role or in your workplace who are constantly getting praise or reaching top metrics. Try observing their strategies and implementing new strategies to improve your own performance. You could ask them to discuss the challenges you face in the role and as a team. It is possible that you will be able to get some insight on how to become one of the top performers, too. 1. Use feedback. If you've received any constructive criticism during annual reviews, performance reviews or other settings, implementing this advice should be your first step in improving your work performance. Feedback based on your performance is very useful not only to identify what you need to work on, but also to understand what your employer values and how you can become an indispensable employee. Criticism is a measurement of your performance and can give you a place to focus your efforts. What do you think of our list? Which of the above things shocked you the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.